Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. How are you, Maria Ernestina? Fine. Thank you for asking. Okay. How was your day today? I am very, very, very busy, teacher. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Thank you. I have a question for you, Maria Ernestina. Uh, yeah. Have you been working on the platform? Uh, I I want to talk about this. I don't work the platform yet because I have too much work. Okay, and yes, because I saw your name here and I can see that you haven't worked on the platform. But whenever yes. you have time, please go ahead and and work on the platform, okay? Yes. So yes, there yes. will Thank be you. a lot of work at the end, okay? Yes, 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 teacher. Thank you. Thank no, you. no problem. And I understand your situation, so, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. teacher. How was your weekend? Uh, and this yesterday I was traveled to my family in the Tepecoyo city. Ah, okay. That is on the way to, to Sonsonate, right? Yes, yes. It's yes. in the in Departamento de la Libertad. Uh -huh, it's, uh, okay. it's a place very nice, teacher. There are great, the beautiful mountains and the uh, the house are the too, too many colors. Okay. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty place. How big is the town? Yes. Um, there are uh, uh, to five thousand or six thousand. ¿Cómo se dice habitantes? Six thousand habitants. Habitants. Yes. Or the uh -huh. population is six thousand. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. So is is big. And this is this most most is mess. Uh, the, um, there there is a fiestas patronales. Oh really? Honor to, yes, this is a honor a um, San Esteban Protomártir. Okay, and when do the when do the uh, when the festivities when the cele celebrations start? Yes, yes. No, when? When is um, uh, January five? Ah, January 5th. Yes. Okay. January so, 5th, yes. Yeah, so after the Christmas uh, holidays, still have the the town's uh, festivities. No teacher. Uh, beginning the, the most of December to begin the 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 part the party and the old old city, old town. A beginning there at the beginning of, of December. Yes. And that is in memory in, in what for? Because you say uh, January 5th is the the celebration the or the December the or the December 5th. No, no. The the party to beginning at the all of December and to finish uh January 5th. Ah um, okay, so a whole complete month. Yes, yes, teacher. How nice. Look at that. How nice. You are welcome. Okay, you... if you invite me, I go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, good evening, Alex. How are you today? Fine, thanks. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How, how was your day today? Busy. Busy. All the, mo all the month is going to be to be busy. Ah, okay. Well, at least we have work, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, Alexandra. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I am fine, thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, a little bit busy, but busy. everything is okay. Busy. Busy, okay. But uh, now you are going to relax. Okay? Yes. Okay, are you That's and right. Alex Rodriguez brother and sister? No. <laughs> <laughs> because
because one is Alexandra and the other one is Alex Rodriguez. And both yes. are Rodriguez, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Ivan. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? It was relaxing. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. Guadalupe, good evening. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm there. I'm very happy to hear that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's start. Okay. Because we have, okay. I hope that you have been working on your platforms. Okay. And as you could see, I send you. I sent you uh, what the problem was with the carnival time, okay? So now you can go ahead and, uh, and do that part, okay? Okay. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about a new unit, unit number nine, okay? Okay, number nine. Okay, and unit number nine is about back to the future. And we are going to talk about past, present, and future again. We're going to have a little review, okay? And to begin with, okay, we have this, okay? Uh, transportation. In the past, we had railroads and ocean liners. In the present, we have cars and jets airplanes and in the future we're going to have flying cars and commercial space flights in communications in the past we had the telephone and the postal system now in the present we are going to have cell phones and email and in the future video phones which we already have and audio letters. With the entertainment, we are we had radio and movies. Now in the present, we have television and computer games. And in the future, we're gonna have 3D television and virtual reality games. So questions about this vocabulary. Ocean liners. Ocean liners are big boats. Ah, okay. Big okay. boats. Uh -huh. We still have ocean liners. We still have big boats. More questions? Mm -hmm. No, okay. questions. No? No. Okay, now, no. which of these past and present developments are the most important for you? Now, in the present, now, which of these cars and jet airplanes, cell phones and email, television and computer, game, and computer games, for you, which one is the most important? Um, I'm going to go one by one. Alexandra, which is the most important for you? Um, I think that maybe in communications, the telephone. Ah, okay. Here, but here in the present. Ah, in the present, in the, the present, present, the car. Which of these is the most important for you? The transportation, the cars. The cars. Okay. Yes. And for you, Maria Ernestina, which is the most important? Communication teacher, cell phone and emails. Uh, cell phone and email. And for you, Alex? Uh, me too. For communication, cell phones and email. Okay. And for you, Guadalupe, which is the most important? Um, <clears throat> I think that our transportation and communication, they are um, uh, switches. I don't know. They are connected. Because uh, if, if you don't have airplanes or car, you can send uh, material, food, uh, 
eh, even though you have a, a cell phone, aunque tengas teléfono yeah. o correo de... No, no comprende, no habla nada de español, Spanish. You have to talk in English, okay? <laughs> uh, well, the idea is that. Yeah, I understood, no problem. Ivan, for you, which are the most important in uh, of the developments in the present? I agree with Guadalupe that transportation and communications are connected. Okay. But if I had to choose one, I would choose transportation because you can live without communication, but transportation for me, it's more important. Okay, well, uh, well, okay. Guille, what is your opinion about that? Which of this development in the present is the most important for you? Uh, transportation and communication, uh, uh, teacher. Okay, uh, very good. And to, for you, Karen? Which is the most important? Oh, all right. Karen, Karen, are you there, Karen? Turn on your microphone. Karen Galdames, are you there? Lily, which is the most important for you of these developments? Transportation and communication. Okay, very good. And Mario, what about you? What is your opinion? I agree with my classmate because I think that transportation and communication uh, is in, in these times are very important. Okay, now everybody, uh, which of the sure. future developments do you think we will, we will see? For example, flying cars and commercial space flights? Video phones, well, we already see video phones and audio, well, audio letters, yes. 3D television and virtual reality games. So which of these are we already seeing? All of them, only the commercial, the flying cars. The flying cars. Well, we still don't have commercial space flights yet. We don't have. We have. Yeah. Really, are people... The now, yeah, can yeah, you yeah. buy a ticket to the moon? Yes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, how will clothing and music be different in the future? Let's see. Eleonora, how will clothing and music be different in the future? What do you think? How do you think they will be different? Wow. Oh, yeah. I see, I think um, in the future, this. Uh, in the future, clothes and music, how are they going to be different in the future? I, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's complicated. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> no. Okay, no, no, no problem. Let's go <laughs> to this conversation. This neighborhood has changed. For example, I don't know if you have had the chance to live in a place and then you leave, you go to another place and then there is a chance to come back. When you come back, it's different, right? Okay, so listen to this conversation about this, about Tanya and Matt talking about how that neighborhood has changed, okay? So here we go. Conversation. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Okay, guys, questions? 
page 58. What is the meaning of teacher uh, of what is that word? Uh, Construction site. No. no, no, tearing down. Ah, tearing down means demoliendo. Okay, thanks. Okay, tearing down. Demolishing. More questions? Mm, no. Multiplex. Multiplex is a building with multi, uh, uh, for so, multi functions. Okay, for example, you can have stores, you can have theaters. A multiplex cinema means that you have more than one cinema there. For example, you go to Galerias and you have a multiplex cinema there. You go to Gran Villa and you have multiplex cinema. So that means that you can see, you are able to choose what movie to see because there are many options, okay? So that is a multiplex cinema. Is that clear? Yes. 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 More questions? No. Are you sure? Teacher, what's the meaning of nowadays? Nowadays. nowadays means in nuestro días. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. More questions? Parking lots. Parking lots are parqueos. Parking lots, where you park your car. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thank you. Okay, very good. So, repeat after me. This neighborhood sure has changed. This neighborhood, this neighborhood, this neighborhood, has, neighborhood has, changed. has changed. I know a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population I, I, is growing so fast these days. I know. I know. No, a few years, years, ago, years ago, not many, many people, people lived here. here. Wow. The population is growing so fast. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Yeah, yeah, it seems yeah. like there's a construction yeah. site on every side on every corner. Every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's Me a multiplex cinema. Remember, Remember how we used, how we used to buy candy, buy candy at that little grocery, grocery store? store. store. Now, now it's a multiplex it's a cinema. cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon, there will be just malls and parking lots. Yeah. 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 That's because everyone has a car. Years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. That's 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 good. Good. Everyone has a car. Two years ago, everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Okay, very good. Now, take a picture of the conversation if you don't, if you haven't downloaded uh, the book. So take a picture of the conversation, please. And let me know when you finish. We finish. Everybody finish? Yes. Yes. Yes? yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Let, let me see how many we have today. Let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so I'm going to make uh, 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 something wrong right here. Okay, so I'm going to make, uh, let me see. Okay, we are going to have seven, seven, seven uh, pairs. So you can practice the conversation, okay? So okay, room okay. number one, go Guadalupe and Lily, Alex and Mario, so room number two, number three, Ivan and Maria Jose, number four, Irving and Karen, number five, 
Eh, Guillen, María Ernestina, number six. Eh, Alexandra and Jordana. And Eleonora, I'm going to move you to number six. Okay, Eleonora? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. very good. So let Thank me you. move you to number six. Okay, there you go. So practice with uh, Alexandra and Jordana, okay? Okay, everybody, go ahead. No teacher. What? Yeah, go to room number six. Okay. Room number six. Uh huh. Um. Eh, con, con, who, who, who with teacher? Alexandra and with Jordana. Oh, pero. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo me incorporo? Well, um, I don't know if it, it doesn't have the option. Let me move you, okay? Let me move okay, you to. Please. Okay. Let me move you to room number three, with Ivan and Maria Jose, okay? Okay. Thank now, you. do you have the option to go to room yes, number three yes. now? Yes, I think. Okay, yes. go ahead. Neighborhood should have changed. I know a few years ago, not many people lived there, live here, but the population is growing so fast these day, days. Yeah, it seems like there's construction sites on every corner. Remember how we used to, to buy candy at the little grocery store? Okay, that's so. That okay. was really quickly. <laughs> okay, yeah. practice it again. Teacher, 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 yes. what, what, how is it pronounced for no, 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 what days? It's not no way. Nowadays, nowadays. Now, nowadays. Now, nowadays, nowadays. Uh, okay, nowadays. practice it again. Nowadays. I'll be back. Okay. 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 This, this neighborhood has to turning down. And in high school, they're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just a small and parking lot. That's because everyone has a car. 60 years ago, people walked everywhere. Now I, nowadays, nowadays, they're, nowadays. Now, nowadays they're, they drive. Okay, Karen. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time, do you start? Okay. Antonio, how are you today, Antonio? Antonio, can you hear me? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Sorry, teacher. And you okay. go, how are you? It's okay. Antonio, I have checked the platform and I see that you haven't worked on the platform. Yes, teacher. Uh, I am uh, this week I, I will try to to complete my the, the course because okay. I didn't have a time, but okay. this is the truth. Okay, I understand. Okay, what I just want to advise you is try to catch up, okay? okay. Remember that we're gonna see section number four and probably uh, one topic of section number five this week, okay? So okay. we will have plenty time to do the final on Thursday next week, okay? For any complication that might come, okay? okay. Me too, teacher. Okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, I know uh, Irving, I have seen that you haven't done, uh, you haven't oh, worked I... on the platform. So whenever you have time, I, I know that, uh, that things get busy and you are very busy probably, I understand, but uh, try not to not to fall behind too, too much, okay? 
Trate de no atrasarse okay. mucho. Okay. Already, okay. already been in, in the section number two at the end, but I just have to, to do the, the meters exam. Okay, we have to do section one, two, and three, and ah, the meters. I have, uh -huh, I have already the, the two sections. And the only thing that I didn't do is the meter okay. exam. Okay, well, try to catch up because after so, today, you can do the first knowledge check on section number four after tonight. So you can go week, day by day on the daily basis, working on the daily basis, not to fall behind, okay? And I understand but, that sometimes it's difficult. I understand, okay? Thank you. Okay, the very good. Is the finish right of the course? Uh, the the course will be finishing next Thursday, not this Thursday. Uh, Thursday next week. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so by this by this week we are supposed to have finished section four and start working on section five. Okay. okay. So during okay. the week next week we only work on details. All right. Okay. okay. Okay, very good, guys. Now, let's listen to the rest of the conversation. I'm going to put it right here, okay? Uh, can you see it? Hello? Yeah. Can yes. you see the conversation? Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, I can see it. Okay, now I'm yes, going to play part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? So here we go. Listen carefully, please. Exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old book? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me look Okay, was that clear? So what else did it what else has changed? There were there was the a bookstore. The bookstore. What has become the bookstore now? A pizzeria. A pizzeria. Okay, very good. And this is the grammar focus that we're going to see today, time contrast, okay? Now, in the past, we say a few years ago, not many people lived here. You remember the past tense? And also we use, people used to shop at grocery stores, okay? And 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. So we use... We practice this uh, in intermediate one with me. Do you remember the ones that were with me? Do you remember? Okay. Yes. So past tense and past tense yes. using used to. Okay. And okay. the present. This is like a review. In the present, we have two tenses. The present continuous or progressive. These days, the population is growing so fast. And the simple present. Today, people shop at supermarkets. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. And then, in intermediate one, we also saw, we also checked the future, using it with will and we are going to. And I explained that it's possible also to use might. Example, soon there will be a lot of shopping malls. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. And remember, I say that you use will for predictions. 70 to 90% that the events will happen. In, uh, in uh, uh, when we use might, we are talking about 50% probability that the events will happen. So in that case, I use might. And we say that 90 to 99% that when we have plans and intentions, we are going to use going to, okay? So 
Uh, any questions about these tenses that you already, that we have already practiced? Oh. Are you sure? Okay, now, take a look. Match the phrases in column A with the appropriate information from column B. Then compare with a partner. Okay, let's see. Before the automobile, what is the correct part? Uh, pollution is becoming a serious problem. I don't know. <laughs> people didn't people travel. Didn't travel. travel. People, didn't travel. Travel. people didn't travel as much Smart. from city to city. Before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Is that clear? Okay, yes. very good. Yeah. Now, number two. Before there were supermarkets, people used to shop. People used to shop at a small mm -hmm. store. Very at good. Stores. That is correct. People used to shop at a small mm -hmm. store. Okay. Now, about 500 oh years ago, people played the first game. I'll go. Mm -hmm. uh, people play the first game of golf. That is correct, well, right? So, uh, about 500 years mm -hmm. ago, people played the first game of golf. In most offices today, what happens in most offices today? People work more than people work more than people work more than people So that means that before people used to work less hours. In many cities nowadays, pollution, pollution is becoming is a city. Pollution is becoming. Uh, in many cities nowadays, pollution, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, very good. Now, number five, number six. Soon, soon, doctor. Soon, what happens? Going to. People are going to work at home. Soon people are yes. going to work at home. Okay, very Let's good. See. Soon people, uh, most uh, people most are people. going to work at home. Well, actually, we are working at home now. <laughs> yes. Okay, some of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, in the next hundred years. Doctors might find a cure. Find a cure. Okay, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. And sometime in the future, there will probably be cities in space. Okay, there will probably be cities in the be cities in space. Okay, very good. Now repeat after me. Before the automobile, uh, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay, before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at small stores. Before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at small stores. About 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. About 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. In most offices today, people work more than 40 hours a week. In most offices today, people work more than 40 hours a week. In many cities nowadays, uh, pollution is becoming a serious problem. In many, many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, soon, uh, soon, most people, uh, most people, most people are going to work at home. Most people are going to work at home. In the next hundred years, 
Doctors might find a cure for the common cold. In the next hundred years, doctors might find a cure the for the common cold. Okay, sometime in the future, there will probably be cities in space. Sometime in the future, they will probably be cities in space. Will be cities, will probably be. Okay, very good. Now, eh. Uh, Okay, very good. So let's see. Here we have some uh, pronunciation. Okay, so. Here we go. Uh, right here, uh, pronunciation, intonation in statements with time phrases. Okay, are you ready? So here we go. Uh -oh. Here we go, listen carefully. Is that clear? Repeat it. Yeah. Exercise four. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Okay, repeat after me. In the past, very few people use computers. In the past, the past very few people used, used computers. computers. Today, people use computers all the time. Today, Today but just all the time. 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 In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, very good. Now, uh, complete the statements. Okay, listen to the part B. all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay. Now, take a look. Here. Complete this statement with your own information. As a child, for example, I'm going to give you my, my sentences. As a child, I used to play with my toys. Five years ago, I used to teach presential classes only. Nowadays, I'm teaching virtually. Next year, I'm going to buy me a new computer. In five years, I'll be, I'll be teaching uh, English only virtually. In 10 years, I might fly to another country. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, go ahead. Uh, number one, Maria Ernestina. Okay, teacher, as a child, I used to play my, my, my games in TV. Okay, very good. Guille, five years ago. Turn on your microphone, Guille. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, five years ago, I used to uh, to play with my friends uh, soccer on the street. Okay. Very good, Eleonora. Nowadays. Nowadays, I 
I I used to. Nowadays you learn English. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, Irving. Next year. Okay, and next year I'm going to buy my our house. Okay, Ivan. In five years. In five years, I will speak good English. Hey, very good, excellent. I like that, Maria Jose. <laughs> in ten years. In ten years. I might um, I might have my own own company. Okay, Sorry. business, very I good. Might. Jordana, as a child. As a child, I used to play Mika. <laughs> okay, not only play, what did you used to mm. eat? Where did you used to go? Okay, Alexandra, uh -huh. five years ago. Five years ago, I used to have so much homework in school. <laughs> okay, very good. Alex, <laughs> nowadays? Now, nowadays, I study a, 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 a certification. How do you say certification? Uh, I, I get a certification. Uh -huh. I get a, a risk certification. Okay. Lily, next year. Next year, I'm going to travel. I'm going to travel? To, to Europe. Let's, oh, yes, to Europe. <laughs> let, let's dream big. <laughs> okay, okay, Karen, in five years. Well, in five years, I will... Um, my, my new house. I will have... Independence. I will yes. have my new house. I will house me. Okay, very good, guys. Now, now before we get into this listening, I want you to go to the workbook. Okay. Can you see what I have here in the on the screen? Yes. So yes. complete this passage passage with the verbs yes. in the box. Use the past, present, or future. Okay. Tense. So. In many cities nowadays, food shopping takes very little time. In the past, people used to go to a different shop for each item. Now it takes very little time because you can find everything in the same place. Is that clear? Okay, so I will give you, okay, I want you to take a picture, please. Take a picture. Did you take a picture? If you have the workbook, don't worry about it. Don't take a picture. What? 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 This is page page forty nine. If you have the book, Where? go to page forty nine. Okay. If you don't have the book, take a picture. Did you take a picture? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Remember that you are going no. to use. You are going to use. These, these verbs, you are going to use them, okay, in the blank spaces. Now, you might use it in the present, some you might use it in the past, and some you might use it in the future, okay? Excuse me. Yes, sir. What page, what page did, did you say? Excuse uh, me. In the, the workbook is page 49. 49, Now, Thank if you, you go by this one, is page 53, okay? But on the workbook, the, the, the page number is page 49. Mm. Got it? It says right there, back to the future, unit nine. Do you have it? Yes. Yes. Okay, Thank you. very good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Okay, now I want you to do this exercise in pairs, please. Okay, is that clear? Remember, you have to select the verbs and depending on the context of the sentence, you are going to tell, you are going to use it in the simple past, in the present or in the future, okay? 
So I will give you a few minutes. Are you ready? Now, let's do it together. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, for example, it says right here. Which bird oh. goes right here? Used to buy. Uh -huh. Well, or maybe, for you example, bought. you bought meat or you used to buy meat at a butcher shop and fish mm -hmm. at a fish market. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. A fruit market. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Uh, Salt. 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 Fruit Salt. and vegetable. Or you vegetable. might say a fruit market used to sell fruit and vegetable. Both are mm -hmm. for dry foods like rice or beans. You had to go to grocery stores. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You had to go to grocery stores. Okay, so we have used have, we have used buy, and we have used sell. So now, today, now today, you have to buy. No, you buy all mm -hmm. those things no, at the maybe supermarket. Today, you get. You you get, get as you get, get all uh -huh. these things at a supermarket. Get all these. Okay, today you get all these things at a supermarket. Many supermarkets. Many supermarkets. Yeah. Make a, a lot, lot of money. Make a lot of money these days, right? Many supermarkets. Many supermarket makes a make. Day. A lot of money these days. This day. Mm -hmm. Okay, now con let's continue. But think, but times are changing. Before mm -hmm. long, people drive in their car. People drive in their cars to huge super stores right. to buy everything. And who knows? Before long. No, Seria, it will be drove. Wait, wait. Before drove. long, Before people drove. will drive. Mm -hmm. People will drive because now will this drive. is future. Before, Before long. long, people will drive in their cars to use superstores to buy everything. And who knows? Soon, everyone use a computer. Uh, we will use, 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 use at home. We'll just. No, soon we'll everyone use, will use, we'll use or is going to use a computer at home. People, people already <laughs> have. Will have. No. Have. That's a finish. People already no. people already use them. Use them. To purchase everything from food purchase. to furniture, from legal <laughs> advice to help. So see here, it's soon everyone and everyone will have to use a computer. Okay, so you use it twice. Okay? Now homework. Choose the correct responses. So you are going to do this exercise, okay? When the okay. people travel by horse and carriage? About 100 years ago. Is that clear? Hello? Yes. yes. Okay, so take a picture. If you don't have the book, take a picture. That is the homework for tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. You have it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back here. Okay, listening for better or for worse. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. Topic, population, transportation, families, environment, cities, shopping. They change. What is the change? Now, for number one, is population or environment? And what is the change? And is the change for better or for worse? Topic number two, what is it? Transportation or cities? What is the change? And is the change better 
or worse. Now, topic number three is about families or shopping. What is the change that they are experimenting and for better or for worse? Are you ready? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, here we go. Yes. Number 15, okay, here we go. Okay, now, what is the change? What is the topic? Environment. Environment. What was the change? There were no more trees. There weren't mm -hmm. trees anymore. No, the change is that they planted, they planted trees, right? Oh. Okay. Now, it was for that for better or for worse? For better. For, for better. better, so you check here for better. The topic, environment, the change is planting trees, and that is for better, check. Okay, very good. Now, let's go to number two, okay? Here we go. Two, how do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Okay, what is the topic? Transportation. Transportation. What was the change? The bus service. Uh huh. What is the change? Uh, they, they know they are not providing the the transportation service uh, anymore, and so you can you need to get a car to trans transportation to for transport, transportation to, to transport. transport yourself. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the change is that there are more cars, and there mm -hmm. isn't a good transportation system. So is the change for better or for worse? Worse. For worse. Very good, very good. Now let's get into the next one. Three, I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay, so what is the topic? Family. Family. Families. What is the Listen. change? There's no kids. In the uh huh. Part. Uh huh. There are no kids yes. anymore, right? And what is the change for better or for worse? Worse. 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 Okay. Now, very good. Very good. Do you have any questions? No. Are you no. sure? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, remember, we have this homework that is for tomorrow, and tomorrow we are going to complete this, okay? So, please connect. Now, let me go to the platform, okay? And let me get to, okay, remember, if you haven't done section one, two, and three and the midterm, Please do it and 
Don't fall behind, please. Now, here okay. we are on section number four. Now, back to the future. So we did the conversation, the neighborhood has changed and we did the time contrast. So you can go ahead and do the knowledge check. We did the pronunciation, intonation in a statement with time phrases, and we did the listening exercise for better or for worse. So you can do knowledge check form 4.4 and the listening exercise 4.8, okay? Okay, you teacher. can go ahead. It's very easy. Both exercises are easy. Okay, guys? Okay, teacher. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Now, uh, I hope that everyone will uh, do the carnival time. You remember the listen carnival time? Yes, yes. And I yes, send you yes, what, what were the problems that we were experiencing, okay? And yes. I hope that you could do it. All right? Yes. Okay, very okay. good. Then uh, I will let you go and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's work Thank you. on the daily basis, okay? Let's try to do Bye. what we can today so tomorrow we don't have anything accumulated, okay? okay. okay. Have a good night okay. and see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye. Bye. Okay, Bye. Very good. Have a nice day, everyone. The same thank to you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a great night. Okay? You too. Okay. Thank you very much.